Hello YouTube, got a fish room update for you. We're gonna check in on Little Steen. We're gonna look at some mystery snails. I got to move uh, my dwarf cichlids into the tank behind me here and got some new artwork to look at, so stay tuned. So first we're going to check in on this jungle tank over here that has Little Steen, the Mabu Puffer. Uh, I've got all kinds of outreach and love for this little guy. And uh, I probably should have clarified, I'm not certain, 100% certain that he has any type of tapeworms. Uh, I just know how much faster Cory's is growing over mine. And uh, so that's kind of what we're thinking. Uh, but I didn't take into effect that he does daily water changes. He also feeds his a lot more. So uh, all that's going to come into play. But, I mean, from this side here, he's actually looking pretty pretty good size from this angle. But he's definitely jonesing for some snails. We fed him, uh, sorry about that, we fed him some, what did we feed him, shrimp last time. I got a nice bucket full of snails over here. If I can reach it. There we go. Where's he at? There he is. We'll dump him in. Inspect the glass. Get in there. Of course, now he's all angry because I'm banging on his tank. All right, let's see if we'll go after him. He's probably a little bit upset that I was just banging on his tank like an idiot, but there he goes. So I really need to get a good look at his poop if we're going to decide if he has tapeworms or not. Uh, still eats like a pig, though. I'll probably be looking at getting him into a bigger tank pretty soon. Uh, he's about five, six inches, maybe a little bit bigger. So might be outgrowing this 40, get him into a 55 for a little bit, maybe even a 75. Um, that might be an option, I'm not sure. But he's definitely chowing down these snails. Stomach's getting nice and big, no problems with his teeth. Well, maybe he's just the runt of the litter, I don't know. I've had people ask me about water change schedule. Uh, it's about 40 to 50% a week. I mean, he acts like every Mabu Puffer I've ever seen, so I'm not crazy worried about it, but I might deworm him anyways. I got, uh, thanks to all the suggestions, I ordered Prazi Pro and Fenbendazole. I think that's how you pronounce it. Not sure what I'm going to use, maybe both. Probably not at the same time, though. <laughs> Come on, you can get to him. His belly's dragging low, though. Might have to save those for later. Oh. It's just a little piece of wood. You can move it. Or go around it. <laughs> that works, too. I could pretty much watch this guy eat all day long. I'm just waiting for one of the days that the uh, rainbows get in the way and he gets a nice chunk of rainbow fish to eat. Which would be a shame. I mean, these are Gary Lang rainbow fish, but you know, you're gonna play with fire, you're gonna get burnt. Come on, he figured it out once. Go around to the other side. There we go. We got a whole pile of them there still. Ooh, went for the biggest one. Oh, I heard that one crunch. I don't know about you guys, but I sure am getting hungry now. Not that way. Jeez. Ooh, gonna get all three of them? Nope. Such a, just a cool fish. We got a nice shot at the chompers there. Yeah, better get out of the way, Rainbow. You're gonna get it. One more. <laughs> and belly is just dragging. One more. Might be done. Oh, I think he saw it. No, you can't get that way. Come on. 
Well, you forgot half of it. <laughs> there you go. Now he'll probably retreat to his hole. All right, and then you remember the Telio Grandma Brichardi, female still perched up in her spot. We'll be moving those over to over to this 40 gallon breeder here. You got the rainbow fish, there's tetras in there. Uh, you see the Siamese algae eater. And then the only thing I have a little concern about is the Epistogramma panduro that are in here. But it's so densely packed with plants in here. Uh, I'm not too worried about it, but I will watch them for the next couple days, make sure everyone's getting along. And uh, hopefully might get some breeding action out of them. They definitely love dense, thick plants, even though uh, where they come from, they, there are some plants, but it's definitely nothing like this tank here. So I'm gonna get those moved over and then check back in with you. All right, I got them moved over. Can barely see the male over here. Let's see if I can block the glare uh, down here. Not very much light. There it goes, camera's adjusting a little bit. Maybe if I move over here. So he's pretty much in that corner. The female. Uh, might have ran off already. Um, she was just hanging out on top of that pot for a second, but I probably scared her. And hmm, probably another fish that I paid way too much money for that I'm never going to see, just like my plecos. I don't mind. There's so many plants in here. They should love it. A neon tetra hanging down. Oh, they're all down there for some reason. Must be getting bullied by someone. Of course, got the steam fought aquatic sign in there. That's pretty cool. Yeah, I should do this without the glare one day. Anyways, let's check in on the mystery snails. Okay, before we go any further, I have to show the painting I got before I forget again. Uh, this was supposed to be like the first thing I showed on the video, but I keep moving around doing different things and forget about it. But I uh, just saw this sitting here again, so let's take a look. So this is from Priscilla, who is a moderator on my channel. Uh, has done some artwork for other channels. And, uh, well, don't go black and white on me. I thought maybe it would look the best here because I have all the lighting on the tank. But clearly that's not the case. Mm. I don't know why my camera is confused. Did you see it switch? It went from like full color to like some kind of 8-bit color. Well, that's frustrating. Let me look at this color. That looks normal. Okay. I don't know why it's coming in like grayscale. Kind of frustrating. If we come over here. Hmm. What if we look at the pentachromis? See, the rocks there look normal. I mean, the rocks are like, I don't know. Maybe I'm just colorblind. All right, let go. This is ridiculous. Well, I guarantee you this looks far better in person than it does on camera. I've got little Steen, the Maboo Puffer. Actually, let's go check in on him. I don't know, you guys decide. Of course, he's facing the wrong way. I don't know. Looks pretty close to me. But, uh, oh, there, kind of got some of the color back. Anyways, definitely a huge thank you to Priscilla. Uh, just a huge member, oh, there we go. A uh, huge member of the fish family. Uh, we'll get this analyzed by the NSA and uh, just to make sure the patterning all is correct but yeah so thank you just a ton Priscilla I love it and uh, I'm going to cherish it and keep it forever now what were we doing uh, looking at the mystery snails next I think I don't remember all right so the mystery snail tank for some reason the only ones I'm having success with are the gold mystery snails uh, there were blue ones in here and you see some of these are just not looking that great. 
looks like some of these cross with the blue ones because that's not gold and it's also not blue uh, so there's also black ones in here so I don't know what I was thinking about mixing them all together but the Java fern is doing just fine so they're good with plants but not a lot going on I don't know if we're gonna be able to see all the clutches back there just a ton of them so definitely no shortage of mystery snails here and I'm not gonna lie some of them do get fed to the puffer um, usually the worst looking ones there are ram's horn snails in here too so that's gonna be puffer food right there definitely puffer food all right now against my better judgment I am gonna show you my garage which is an absolute disaster and just to prove that yes I still do have the 240 gallon tank here and then right below it I got the 8 foot 135 gallon tank which is pretty awesome I'll post a picture of that right now and then <laughs> my Black Friday score the 125 gallon Aquion with stand yeah that's right got it on Black Friday my next score is a five foot 120 gallon tank uh, here is the stand right here just a great quality stand as you can hear everything just rattles I really trust this stand uh, yeah that was sarcasm uh, but yeah here is the 120 gallon sitting here empty so now I have a lot more reason for everyone to hate me for not setting up big tanks and then we have a 40 gallon breeder here just hanging out why not uh, in a nice nice hammer I like to hit stuff so whatever so there you go a whole corner of my garage dedicated to uh, big tanks that are not set up so if you didn't hate me before for not setting up the 240 uh, you can definitely hate me now because yeah got the 240 the 135 the 125 the 120 probably gonna lose a lot more subscribers but just showing you I still have it there's still plans to get it in action but there's a lot of moving pieces in this puzzle um, as people that have been around for a while know the 240 doesn't fit in the house and putting in this many fish tanks they're so big they can only go downstairs in my fish room so that's gonna require taking a bunch of tanks out and uh, it's just gonna be a chore no matter what all right, there you have it. I hope everyone enjoyed this week's fish room update. Not a lot happening this week. Uh, super busy. We got the local club meeting this week, so I really didn't plan on getting much done this week simply for that. Uh, hopefully we'll get to talk to Rachel O'Leary. She's coming to speak at our club, so that'll be cool. Also, I wanna thank everyone for the just love and support. I got so many messages and emails and uh, everyone being super concerned on the live stream last night. As you can see, Little Steen is doing good. Uh, this is just more preventative, just in case he has tapeworms because he's just not growing as fast as he should. So hopefully we'll get that cleared up with the meds that are coming in. And again, thank you to Priscilla who made just an amazing portrait of Little Steen. And uh, I just couldn't be happier. It's super awesome. So go ahead and like, share, and subscribe if you haven't already. Even dislike, as long as you do something, interact somehow. And I uh, hope to see you all next week on the live stream.